How to find articles in Google Scholar. This video is for students and staff of St George's University of London. To access Google Scholar, type Google Scholar into the Google search bar and press return. This page will look familiar to you, even if you haven't used Google Scholar before, as it looks and works very much like normal Google. You can conduct a simple search here by just typing in a few keywords. For the purposes of this demonstration, I will be looking at the effectiveness of using face masks in controlling the infection of COVID in the community. As with Google, you can type in a whole question or sentence, but it is more effective to identify and use your main concepts or keywords. Not only is this a beneficial way of searching Google Scholar, as you'll see in a few moments, but it will also prepare you for using the library databases more effectively. For now, I will just use the terms face masks, COVID and community. Google Scholar may apply a Boolean AND between your terms so that each term appears in your results. You'll see that Google Scholar has retrieved nearly 32,000 results, which is roughly what you would expect from a Google search. Judging by the first few results that we see here, they are generally relevant. The number of results you retrieve in a Google Scholar search like this one is often overwhelming. There are just too many. Luckily, there are a few small and easy changes you can make to focus your results using the advanced search options. To refine your results, click on the three horizontal lines to the left of the Google Scholar logo, then go down to advanced search. Here you will see a box with some options. Your original search terms are at the top. The second line gives us an option to search for an exact phrase. This means two or more words that must appear together to make your results relevant. I'm going to move the phrase face masks into this search bar as I'm only interested in articles that refer to the exact concept of face masks and don't refer to the two words separately. Just making this small change reduces your results to just over 11,000. If you are using a keyword that refers to a concept that can be described in different ways, you can add alternative keywords to the search line. For example, if we wanted to add the word public as an alternative way of describing community, we would use the Boolean operator OR between the search terms community and public. We could have equally used the word coronavirus as an alternative to COVID. As you can see, this has increased our results. Since Google Scholar already retrieves an overwhelming number of results, this may or may not be a benefit to you, but it reduces the risk of missing out on relevant articles. It's also great practice for when you need to run more systematic searches in a library database later down the line. Depending on your topic and how essential each of your terms are, you can refocus your results by telling Google Scholar to search for your terms within the title of the article by selecting this option here. You may need to play around with this if your results are reduced too heavily, or it may give you just what you need to get you started with your research. One final thing you can do to filter and focus your results is to search for articles that were published in a certain time period, say the last five or ten years. Your lecturers will usually want you to refer to the latest research, so this can be a good way of filtering out older articles. Now that you have refined your search, you'll want to access them. Some articles are available via open access. This means you can read them for free. You'll know which articles these are because there will be a link to the full text on the right hand side of the page. Another way of opening up your search and finding other relevant articles is to click on the Cited By and Related Articles links. The Cited By option links you through to any article that has cited this article and can be used as a way of judging how well regarded an article is by the scholarship, although this is not always a good indication, so remember to critically evaluate everything you read. You can set up Google Scholar so that it also shows you which articles are available to you via an SGUL subscription. You can do this by selecting the three lines in the top left hand side of the page and selecting settings. Under search results, select library links, then type in St George's University of London and hit search. You'll see an option for St George's appear underneath the search box. 
tip leave the open world cat option ticked as this is what allows you to see the open access articles select the st george's option and click on save you'll now see additional links to articles available via a st george's subscription where it says find it at sgul now there's one last helpful tip i would like to show you which will help you to find better quality gray literature as opposed to scholarly literature from the standard google search page when in Google, go to settings on the right hand side of the screen and select advanced search. You will see options similar to those we have already looked at in Google Scholar. If you scroll down, you will see some additional options to filter your results under the heading, then narrow your results by. Many of these are self-explanatory, but I just wanted to highlight the search box titled site or domain. This is a great feature which allows you to filter your search terms to respected sites. For example, adding domain names such as ac.uk, nhs.uk, .org, .gov or .edu will return results from these trusted sites. Thank you for watching.